Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Episode 2 of our quest, our hunt, our journey to complete our Halo Heroes collection. In the last episode, we unboxed Carter A259, Emil A239, George052, times 2, we got two of these bad boys, and a remnant hunter to top it off. You know, the Spartans need something to fight. And in this episode, we've got a new theme. I asked you to predict what the figures would be for episode two. The theme is a tribute to Halo 3. So what figures could lie dormant inside this parcel? If you're new to the series, every single episode, we unbox some brand new Halo heroes to add to our ever-growing collection. And by the end of this series, we will have them all. And and probably a lot of duplicates. As we do with every one of these episodes, let's take a closer look. Macro lens on, we've got our second box. I'm keeping it blurred so it's a nice surprise for you all. What could possibly be a tribute to Halo 3? I know most of you will have made some predictions. So, six Halo heroes, and yes, some of these are Halo Hero Series 5. Two of them, actually. Two Halo Hero Series 5, but what could the rest of them be? I do wonder. So let's start off with the first one. We're gonna do a nice little warm up with a Brute Warrior. Craig the Brute. Why not start this episode with some Craig? It's been a while. <laughs> I have collected a lot of these Brute Warriors in the past, and I have given a lot of them away. So, I need more. I gotta, I gotta keep my Craig army strong. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Also, the day I'm recording this, we hit 35k on YouTube, which is just such a massive milestone. Honestly, I could not thank you more. Craig the Brute, I mean, our Brute Warrior friend. It's it's just a quality Halo Heroes figure, you know? I've always said before, I think when Halo Infinite sort of Halo Heroes came around, they just shouldn't have been called Halo Heroes. They should have just been called the Halo Infinite series or something like that, because we're going back to basics with actual Halo Heroes from across the Halo universe now, and I think that just suits us so much better. Because these are super, super detailed, and we need super, super detailed figures, but they just seem out of place. They don't seem to be like, you know, they're not iconic characters. So, still, I mean, well, I say that. What, what's more iconic than Craig? <laughs> But yes, that is our first figure for today. Now, I wanted to just include some figures that were like basic cannon fodder, you know? I didn't have all Halo 3 figures, but I did have a lot that could pass as Halo 3. This looks Halo 3 enough for me. So uh, why don't we why don't we get some reinforcements? Craig's lonely. Craig needs a girlfriend. So let's get Craig number two. Uh, this is Craigetta. What? Wait, you can't tell the difference? Are you serious? You can't tell the difference between the male and the female. Wow, some some people, honestly, some people. I hope you did enjoy the primer episode to this, where I ran down every single Halo hero that I currently own. And then episode one, the theme was nobility, noble Spartans. And we ended up with two Georges, a Carter and an Emil. So that's pretty noble team-esque to me. Such a fantastic weapon for the Brutes. Two monkey boys, lovely monkey boys. <laughs> You know what? These are clueless monkeys. These are buffoons. They need someone to lead them. Who's gonna lead the Brutes into glorious battle? It's my second ever Halo Heroes Series 5. Look at that. It's the Prophet of Truth. The Prophet of Truth. Ah, I've been waiting a long time to get this Halo hero. The Prophets are just like so iconic in Halo and the Prophet of Truth is by far my favorite. I'm sure he's most people's favorites because he has all the voice lines, but he's just so cool. And look at all that dirt. Look at all that dirt damage. That's that's pretty good. And that's, that's, an, uh, that's an example of Mega Constructs. You know, they do the battle damage, like the scratch marks or the dirt marks, but they don't overkill it. And uh, very nice face there, really great details like Look at the detail there, man. Like, honestly. You're telling me this is like a one inch figure or whatever this is? Like, it's so crazy how much detail they can pack into a figure. I honestly, I'm always so impressed. I say Mega Constructs must be one of the most detailed like figure makers in the galaxy. He's got no more armor. He's just gonna stand straight on his base plate. He's got the very weapon that murdered Miranda Keys. I'm sure that we're going to see some reenactments of that scene now that Miranda Keys is coming out in the 20th anniversary pack. It's a really nicely detailed spiker, uh, some good damage on 
it too. This is just a very quality figure. It's not the most expensive of Series 5 because, you know, you can get the Prophet of Truth elsewhere. He's not the most favored choice. I think him and the Brute Bodyguard are probably the cheapest ones you can buy. Maybe the Brute Bodyguard will be on my list soon enough. The Prophet of Truth... He is leading these brutes into glorious salvation. They're gonna go straight to lighting the rings, but you know what? It's not gonna be that easy. Somebody's going to stand in their way. Who better to stand in their way than the most badass, cigar chompinist marine there is, Sergeant Avery Johnson. If people were to ask me which figures are essential to a Halo Heroes collection, I would have to say that Noble Team is obviously up there, but then Johnson has to be number one, man. Look at the detail on that face. Like this is top bar quality, this uh, this exact model. Like I love the Halo 3 Johnson more than anything else. Like so beautifully iconic. Way more to me, like I'm very excited about the Johnson in the uh, 20th anniversary pack, modeled after Combat Evolved, but nothing rings true like Halo to me than Sergeant Avery Johnson from Halo 3. Especially the fact that you've got the Spartan laser that was used to kill Guilty Spark. It's just top notch, man. The silver detailing all over his shoulder, chest, legs, even the black on his legs and his belt. It's not too much. Fireteam Osiris is completely overkill. This is a tiny bit overkill, but you know, he's got to sit his tushy down on there, so that could get dirty. The rest of it, I don't mind at all. You can even see a tiny UNSC logo on his hat. The Spartan laser has a really good degree of quality to it. This is an amazing figure. Unfortunately, it does not come with the base plate. I'm putting out an all points bulletin. If you have Johnson, but you don't care about the base plate, send it the domain's way. Only if you don't care, because I would love to get this base plate, but I know most people don't care about base plates, or at least a lot of people. So Johnson is going to be fighting the Prophet head on. Unfortunately, that's not a fight you ever see. You kind of just see Johnson uh, beaten up by brute bodyguards. They look absolutely amazing together. I'm really happy to add these to my collection at the same time, and I wanted episode two to have a big drama appeal to it. Same as episode one with Noble Team. What better next step than to use Halo Hero Series 5? Like, they're legendary. They're mythic. They're incredible. Now, Johnson, unfortunately, he tried to take out the Prophet, but he was beaten down. There were too many brutes. He's been dragged away. So somebody needs to come and save Johnson, okay? It might not be who you expect. It's not a Halo hero from Series 5. It's something else. Drum roll, please. Who's gonna save Johnson today? It's the Spartan Mark VI in red. This is basically the red Master Chief, so that makes sense. He's coming to save your boy Johnson. Let's pop this one together. Now, I know this is kind of modeled after Halo 5 Guardians uh, era of Spartan Mark 6s, but this is just a wonderful iteration of the armor. I dig it, you know, I dig it. You'll see when it's fully built. Um, I've obviously seen these before I like take them apart and put them in the nice bags to unbox in front of you guys. It actually works pretty well. It is like very glaring. You always think with these things, no Spartan would ever actually wear that. But this is all fun fantasy. Spartan Mark 7. This is from the same series as Carter. They come as a pair. So really nice. I got them both together, but I separated them off because I wanted every one of these episodes to have kind of like a fun theme to them. Maybe even like a little story. This is the story for today. Halo 3 Memories. Memories of Halo 3. If we compare this Spartan to the Master Chief from Series 4, Five, yeah, everything looks pretty much the same. This one obviously just has this like weird Halo 5 Guardians armor coating. But you know, I really don't mind it. It's it's fun, it's interesting, like it's better than just like a copy and paste color. He comes with a colored saw, which we have not had many colored saws, maybe only a few. So to get this with the nice colored drum as well is a real treat. I'm very happy to add this one to my collection. I'm happy to add them all to my collection, but this one is a really special one. I was I was particularly excited about this one. I actually got two of these in the haul that I bought this from, but I sent one of them straight to Bam Bam Productions. So you're welcome, buddy. And that silver visor as well. Nothing to uh, nothing to scoff at. A really nice Spartan. The Spartans come in. Dun 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 dun. He's rescued Johnson. Dun 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 dun. The Prophet says, "Oh, that's not the Prophet." The Prophet says, "Bring him back." Dun 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 dun. But uh oh, the Prophet's got a little bit of backup. Okay. These brute warriors are not leaderless. Q, the big bad Craig, 
the leader of Craig's army. Craig and Craigetta, Craigetta, whatever she was called, are led by the Brute Chieftain from Halo Heroes Series 13. You guys know when you saw my review of this series, not only is this Craig so cute, so badass, he's got the most ridiculous frill attire on his headpiece. Like, so outrageous. Over the top, I absolutely love it. Like, this whole armor, I mean, he's a chieftain, you know? He's got to lead his men with fear, so why not just, like, dress in a super menacing way? I also love the knives that are attached to his arms. I, I assume they're meant to be knives. Some kind of stabbing tool. I do love how all of these legs have a clear indicator with this little notch of which way they're meant to go. Oh, look at that. I would have all, I, honestly, like, after unboxing the Halo Heroes Series 5, I would have liked some battle damage on this guy. Like, some scratching, some weathering, even some mud. That would have been cool. He does look a little too clean, but this hammer looks super clean. I love those yellow lights running all the way through it, like it's pulsing with energy. And uh, you've seen the Gravity Hammer gameplay from Halo Infinite. That thing destroys. So very happy with that. That is six figures. Count them six for episode two of the quest for every Halo hero. Let's check them out. Today, folks, in episode two, I'm adding to my collection Avery Johnson versus the Prophet of Truth, Spartan Mark VI, the big baddie brute chieftain, and two more brute warriors. So the new figures today are the Mark VI, Johnson, and the Prophet of Truth. A very nice addition to my collection and a really excellent episode two, if you ask me. Folks, I really hope you enjoyed episode two. It was a blast opening and building these figures. And I hope you'll join me for episode three. The theme of the next one is Spartan reinforcement. So I wonder which Spartans it's going to be. It's going to be Spartans all next episode, baby. So comment down below which your predictions are for episode three of the quest for every halo hero you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks and today's haul is signing off <laughs>